You are more than you know, but you've probably suspected that for a long time. But I mean, no, you are really, 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 really different than you know yourself to be. You're so much smarter and so much wiser, and you have so much more that you deserve. You have so much vibrational credentials and stuff saved up for you. There is so much good that you are entitled to. There is so much well-being that you were born knowing was yours. It's a legacy. It's gifts. It's a legacy of well-being that is huge. And I know you don't know it. I know you don't know it very well because things around you have made you think otherwise. But I know this about you. So if I were standing in your physical shoes, we would say to them if we were standing in your physical shoes. If I were standing in your physical shoes, I would let myself hope for outrageously wonderful things to come to me. And I would test the universe. I would say, universe, if I'm so good, show me. If I'm so worthy, show me. Not if I'm so bad, make it better. That's the opposite. That doesn't work. If I'm so good, show me. If I am a blessed being, then let the blessings start pouring into my experience. If I'm wise, let me be smart. If I'm blessed, then I want to be happy. This is what is the second coming? Christ's second coming, which is sure as God, is merely the correction of mistakes and the return of sanity. It is a part of the condition that restores the never lost and reestablishes what is forever and forever true. It is the invitation to God's word to take illusion's place, the willingness to let forgiveness rest upon all things without exception and without reserve. It is the all-inclusive nature of Christ's second coming that permits it to embrace the world and hold you safe within its gentle advent, which encompasses all living things with you. There is no end to the release the second coming brings, as God's creation must be limitless. Forgiveness lights the second coming's way, because it shines on everything as one, and thus is oneness recognized at last. The second coming ends the lessons that the Holy Spirit teaches, making way for the last judgment, in which learning ends in one last summary that will extend beyond itself and reaches up to God. The second coming is the time in which all minds are given to the hands of Christ to be returned to spirit in the name of true creation and the will of God. The second coming is the one event in time which time itself cannot affect. For every one who ever came to die or yet will come, or who is present now is equally released from what he made. In this equality is Christ restored as one identity, in which the sons of God acknowledge that they are all one. And God the Father smiles upon his Son, his one creation and his only joy. Pray that the second coming will be soon, but do not rest with that. It needs your eyes and ears and hands and feet. It needs your voice. And most of all, it needs your willingness. Let us rejoice that we can do God's will and join together in its holy light. Behold, the Son of God is one in us, and we can reach our Father's love through him.